Hello, Bald Book Geek here, and this is my first review for the Rainbow Library, link down below. And um, the first review is none of the above. I'm not going to give too much away about this book, because I think it's one of those you really need to read for yourself, and if you say too much about the story, it does ruin it. But I will say, the book is about an intersex person who is outed at school. And... I was surprised. I went into this with some trepidation. To be honest, it's labelling a sort of YA or YA contemporary, whatever, put me off. I, I have sort of become more and more anti-YA in some elements. Um, but overall, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised by this. A, it handles the subject matter beautifully. It doesn't feel like it's pushing an opinion, but it doesn't and it doesn't feel like it's pushing anything else, it's just telling the story. And it's left to the reader to make a lot of their own opinions, which I like. I actually enjoyed the setting, which is unusual for me, for this type of book. But I actually enjoyed the setting and sort of the world the characters inhabit. What I didn't enjoy was some of the relationships feel very YA-ish. And that's a horrible thing to say, but that's my standpoint on that one. Um... And some of the characters can be a little bit annoying here and there, but they're, they're my only gripes. Um, character development was very good. It didn't feel like a YA in terms of character development. Everyone had a distinct voice and a distinct personality. But like I said, the, the main issue I did have was some of the relationships were written in a YA style. It was very much, there was a few instant decisions in there that was like, oh, that happened rather fast, which which is a common issue I have with YA. T things tend to happen very fast, which sometimes work and sometimes just falls apart. But this this was that middle ground. I wish some of the relationships had been been I'm trying to think of the prod here. Some of the relationships felt like they could have been more fleshed out, much deeper, a little bit more about some of the relationships. Um, I'm including friendships and all of that in this one. The relationships between characters in general could have gone a little bit further. Uh, the writing style is very clean to the point, which I like. I, I will admit this probably won't win any literary awards for the writing. Um, but then again, it is YA at the end of the day. So we're not expecting sonnets here. But yeah, overall a really enjoyable book. And I just, I really did enjoy it. I think it's a subject matter that we don't talk about enough. And subject matter that doesn't get talked about in general. Uh, be, um, the whole LGBTQ plus thing. We, it's a subject matter that either gets romanticised or pushed aside or sort of the depth taken out and it becomes very shallow and I will say none of the above does none of those things it handles the subject very well and it just it, it really does and that surprised me um, I will go in there and say if I was rating this on Goodreads I would give it 3.5 pushing a 4 and that's very good for me it's extremely rare I give a book five stars um, to the point I think I've very very rare now I'm very I like to rip a book apart and then review it <laughs> anyway but it's definitely worth reading I think it's a subject matter you'd really enjoy and I'm gonna check out I want to hear I want to read more by that writer I really do I was really surprised and I really did enjoy this so yes, I'm the Bold Book Geek, and this is for the Rainbow Library, and I will see you guys later.